Hey guys, let's start the 66th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Who faces who in Olympics? Return of the Gods says C. Latin Ibrahimovic. Florentino Perez gets serious. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So at first without a delay let's get to know some main news of the day. C. Latin Ibrahimovic will return to Sweden's squad after an almost five-year hiatus to play in World Cup qualifiers at the end of March. The player, known for his not-so-humble wits, also announced his return himself by posting a picture in the Swedish kit with the caption The Return of the God. C. Latin Ibrahimovic missed plenty of games for Milan this past season due to injury and he's currently recovering from knee surgery. Therefore, the following news will not make all of the Rossonri fans happy. According to SVT Sport, citing the reliable journalist Jennifer Wedgerup, Ibrahimovic wants to continue with the Swedish national team. After missing out on the Euros, the striker is eager to help out in the World Cup qualifiers. Zlatan is, according to my sources close to him in Milan, completely set on getting back into action and playing for the national team again. Of course, it depends on when and if he will be fit for fight. And if he will be called up, she stated. Iroja beat Ivory Coast in extra time to ensure they progress to the final four while Mexico trounced South Korea to set up a tie with Brazil. Tournament hosts Japan will meet Spain in the Olympic semi-finals. Japan beat New Zealand on penalties on set to secure a place in the final four. The two sides played out a goalless 120 minutes at the Kashima Soccer Stadium to take the tie into a shootout, with Japan coming out with 4-2 winners. Spain, meanwhile, was almost knocked out of the competition in their clash with Ivory Coast, but a stoppage time goal from Rafa Mir made it 2-2 and took the game into extra time. Nicol Oyarzabal scored a penalty in the first half of extra time before two more mere goals saw La Roja go through with a 5-2 win. Japan or Spain will meet either Brazil or Mexico in the final of the tournament. Brazil went through with a 1-0 win against Egypt thanks to a first-half goal from Matthias Kunha. Mexico, on the other hand, dominated against South Korea to ensure their hopes of picking up a medal are still alive. C. Latin Ibrahimovic is working hard to recover in time for the season opener following the knee surgery he underwent in June. The first indications have been positive and the suite is very determined. According to Gazeta dello Sport, as cited by Milan News, Ibrahimovic is still training apart from the team in the gym. However, he's expected to be back on the training pitch very soon, seeing as the recovery has gone well thus far. Ibrahimovic is working in the gym, and as said, the striker will start running very soon. The recovery plan states that he will start running first and then work with the ball, but we will have to wait and see if Ibrahimovic can stay away from his best friend. Either way, the recovery is proceeding well and that is great news. Real Madrid's directors consider the door to be open for almost all players at the club. In the case of an acceptable offer being presented, those in charge at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu know that rebuilding the squad won't be simple and that it'll require the exits of some very good players, as has happened with Sergio Ramos and Rafael Varane. In terms of arrivals, Real Madrid's plan is clear. Their sole objective is to sign Kylie and Mbappe and nobody else. There are no plans to sign another centre-back, as the central defensive options for next season will be Nacho, Eder Militao, and David Alaba, plus the youngsters Gila and Victor Chust. Jesus Vallejo, meanwhile, could leave in the coming weeks. Ancelotti knows that Florentino Perez's plan is for this to be a prudent transfer window, except in the case of being able to sign him back. This is a clear and firm plan. Now we move on to some interesting news of today's video. Chelsea and US Men's national team star Christian Pulisic opened up on his struggles with mental health, revealing the impact talking to a therapist has had on him during his most difficult moments. When it's all on you it can feel like a lot, Pulisic said. Personally, during this time, I reached out to a therapist and it's not something anyone should be ashamed of. It's something that can help talk about the way that you're feeling. Sometimes just expressing how you feel to somebody else can help you so much. It's something I've done personally and seen other people do. Getting it off your chest, speaking about it is something that can go a long way. Arsenal's Rias Nelson is wanted by Gunners legend Patrick Vieira at Crystal Palace claims the Sun. Nelson could be available on a loan deal as he has found first-team chances hard to come by at the Emirates Stadium. Aston Villa will have to pay Norwich City up to 40 million euros to sign Todd Cantwell, according to the Sun. Cantwell has been proposed as a potential replacement for Manchester City target Jack Grealish in midfield, with Villa already swooping to take Emiliano Buendia from the Canaries this summer. Santos striker Caio Jorge is set for a summer move to Juventus as the Italian Giants close in on a transfer for the young gem. Goal understands that Juve has all but agreed on terms with Santos for the 19-year-old, who is out of contract at the end of 2021. Caio could travel to Italy as soon as Thursday to complete his switch. Manchester United will have to pay dearly even if Paul Pogba leaves this summer, reports The Sun. The France star would be entitled to receive his last year's salary, worth 15 million euros, if he leaves without filing an official transfer request 
with Paris Saint-Germain in the front runners for its signature. Raheem Sterling's contract talks at Manchester City have stalled but his place in the team is still safe, claims the Sun. The winger is not in danger of being sold if Jack Grealish moves to the Etihad Stadium and remains a key part of Pep Guardiola's plans. Deeds United are considering a move for Wolves star Adama Traor. Goal understands. Contract talks between the Spain winger and his club have stalled, attracting the attention of their Premier League rivals. But the Whites would have to make a significant transfer out if they hope to land their target. Manchester United's chances of landing Erling Holland in 2022 have been boosted as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer prepares to sign a new deal, reports The Sun. The Borussia Dortmund star is close to his compatriot, with the uncertainty over his future a big part of why Holland declined to join the Reds from RB Salzburg. If the midfielder stays out, the co-star will not sign Manchester United's approach for Saul Niguez hangs on Paul Pogba's next move, claims the Mirror. The Atletico Madrid midfielder is seen as the perfect replacement for Pogba, but if he does not move, there will be no transfer. Real Madrid defender Avero Adriazola has returned a positive coronavirus test, the club confirmed on setting. The Liga side's preseason preparations have been disrupted by the virus, with some of the club's first team players having been forced to isolate after testing positive. And Adriazola is the latest who will have to withdraw from training, with Madrid due to fix AC Milan in a friendly on August 8. An agreement has been struck between Aston Villa and Bayer Leverkusen, with Leon Bailey set to move to the English side. Fabrizio Romano is reporting that the deal is almost done, although a medical and a few other details still have to be completed. Mauro Icardi has made clear on social media that he has no intention of leaving Paris Saint-Germain, following reports in recent weeks that Juventus and Roma are monitoring him. This season, next season, and the season after that, there has never been any doubt, Ales Paris, Icardi wrote on Instagram. Free agent defender Jerome Boateng has been linked with a move to Sevilla, but the German also has interest from Italian quintet Juventus, AC Milan, Lazio, Napoli, and Roma. Yet, Calcio Mercato report that Boateng wants to join Manchester United. Sergio Agro is following in the footsteps of Rafael Nadal as he attempts to extend his career after signing for Barcelona. Agro is trying to avoid that being a problem in the future and is going through extremes to keep his career going. According to Marca, the former Atletico Madrid forward has had stem cell treatment on his knees in a bid to sort out any issues. The treatment for the 33-year-old is supposed to regenerate the cartilage in the joints and was reportedly planned even before he moved to the new camp. According to the report, Dr. Robert Soler did encourage the new signing to have the treatment, with the striker having previously gone under the knife for any injury. Imeric Laporte wants to leave Manchester City this summer. According to reports, the Spain international fell behind John Stones and Ruben Diaz in the pecking order at the Etihad last season. And according to Duncan Castles on the Transfer Window podcast, he is now unhappy at the club. He also revealed that Barcelona has shown an interest, but would struggle to afford a deal this summer, and that Laporte is pushing City to facilitate his exit. Tassels then added that the defender is kicking up enough of a fuss to pressure the club into finding a solution. This was the end of our 66th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.